Welcome. There we go. Welcome to Yoga Story Live. Challenge day three. Move. Yes. Move, meditate, make. So we're going to take a little bit of time to move. So let's get up. Let's do some movement. Uh, remember, this isn't just about moving into yoga poses or. Um, it's not just about the, the yoga. It's about any kind of movement that you can or would like to do um, throughout this throughout this challenge week. So maybe that's jumping jacks. So let's do 10 jumping jacks. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Maybe you want to just go for a little walk. So let's walk. Let's walk it out. Come walk with me. Maybe your movement is doing some squats. So let's do some squats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Maybe your movement is some yoga poses. Let's come up into mountain. Inhale. Forward fold. Exhale deep. Inhale on up to or to a halfway lift. Ardu Tanasana. Exhale forward fold. Inhale, bend the knees, weight in the heels to chair pose. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Maybe. Inhale, mountain. Hands to prayer. Maybe your movement was dancing and you got your you got your dance on. Maybe you did some disco. Ha, 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 stay alive, stay alive. Ha, 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 stay alive, stay alive. Maybe, what other, oh, maybe you swam. So, I can't demonstrate that. <laughs> um, you know, maybe you went for a little swim at the gym, or it's been pretty warm, although rainy. Um, maybe you got outside and went swimming. So it's really just about finding your movement um, and whatever it is that that you would like to do for movement. And then once you have moved, and this doesn't necessarily have to be in any certain order, um, but sometimes moving can help us to find that, that place in our mind that's a little bit more still. So once you have, once you have found that movement, then that's when we come to a place of stillness, a place where we just are sitting straight up, comfortable seat, eyes closed, and we just let everything go. Our movement helped to loosen up the body and help to loosen up the mind a little bit. And the meditation helps Loosen up, the, loosen up the mind even more, helping us further let go. And in meditation, we do talk a lot about letting go. And so naturally the question is, okay, exactly what are we letting go of? 
and that's something that is that is really for you to answer um, for yourself. That's something that's inside that um, that that small still voice. That says this, let go of this. And not everything has to be let go at once, but just maybe choosing a small thing, taking baby steps in the direction of letting go. Letting go of judging your thoughts. Maybe letting go of something from the past. Maybe letting go of some worry that you have about the future. Maybe letting go of your need to be in control. Letting go of your need to please people. Letting go of the fears that hold you back. From taking rest. taking unnecessary risks. When you find that deep place of stillness, you begin to learn what it is within yourself that needs to be let go. beautiful moments where it seems to melt away, where it does melt away. But meditation is a practice. Letting go is a practice. So when you find yourself becoming attached once again to that thing that perhaps you thought you let go of. Just keep practicing. sit still, the longer you sit in silence, the more you're able to let go. beautiful thing to see the big picture, but also see what is just in front of you. And be okay with the baby steps.
let your mind surrender to the silence. Increasing your patience. Namaste.